Welcome to this week's Fighting Scots Sports Report. I am Tyler Trumbauer. The Fighting Scots football team tried to get its first win of the season on Saturday when Shippensburg came to town. The big storyline of the day was that man on the far right edge of the screen there, Trevor Harris, former Borough standout was, and current star in the CFL, was the honorary captain for the game. The Scots got the ball open to open the game. First drive stalled at the one-yard line as Corey Bell was stuffed on fourth down as Ship took over on downs and thwarted a legit scoring opportunity. Scoreless first quarter, though, but Ship got the scoring started with this 25-yard field goal. They're up 3-0. Burrow countered with a field goal of their own. A few minutes later, Austin Reese connected on one 27 yards out. On their next possession, the Scots scored their lone touchdown of the day as Darren Massey took a screen pass 51 yards to the house to take a 10-3 lead. A little whip there with 3.03 left in the half. Reese made that. Field goal there to make it a 13-3 lead before the half with that nice 43-yard field goal. He was named the PSAC West Special Teams Player of the Week. The Scots led 13-3 at the break as the 65 Edinburgh Highlighters, Highlanders football team were honored at the break with the 50th anniversary of the Sox Harrison Stadium being the front, forefront this year. Ships Dean opened up scoring in the second half with a field goal, making it 13-6 Borough. The Red Raiders made their first trip to the end zone here as Andrew Smith ran it in from a few yards out, tied 13 all now. On their next possession, Ship tried to take the lead with another short run at the goal line, but Burrow's defense stuffed them at, at fourth and goal. The defensive unit played well all day, snapped a 22-game streak of 21-plus points and three touchdowns per game for Ship. The Red Raiders got the ball back, were marching down the, the field, and that, ball, that was a key play right there. But look at it. Was that completed? Let's take another look at this one. As Zapatiki's going to roll right here, throw left. Look at it. It looks like it bounces a little bit. Nonetheless, ref said it were completed, and that set up the game-winning play here. Minutes left as Zapatiki throws it up right here to his receiver, Jeff Goulis for the winning score as Ship prevailed 20 to 13. Edinburgh plays away from Sox Harrison Stadium for the first time in 2015 this Saturday when they visit East Stroudsburg and take on the also winless Warriors. That game kicks off at 105 and can be heard live on WFSC 88.9, EdinburghNow.com, the TuneIn app, or the Keystone Sports Network with Mike Fenner and myself on the call from the campus of ESU. The women's soccer team was the second event of the double feature at Sox Harrison Stadium on Saturday as the 16th ranked Scots hosted Millersville. Before that contest, the Scots also played on Friday when they welcomed Shippensburg to Sox Harrison Stadium and that went much better for Burrow as Ashley Mutkus' late goal, her third of the season, gave Burrow the one to nothing win in that contest. The ladies were given their first loss of the year by the same score on Saturday as Millersville's Haley Parker found the back of the net in the 61st minute. Despite Burrow leading Millersville in shots on goal 8-1, to one, the Marauders won the contest 1-0. to nothing. The ladies are now 3-1 on the young season. They spend the week on the road visiting Seton Hill Tuesday evening and battling Roberts Wesleyan on Saturday afternoon. The women's volleyball team continued its season at the Virginia State Tournament this past weekend. The ladies had a very successful tournament, earning three wins. Burrow defeated Charleston on Friday and took down West Virginia State and Glenville State on sat on, in straight sets on Saturday. The squad is now 6-1 and one on the season. Next up for them is the PSAC MEC crossover at the Hammer Mill Center in Erie this weekend. The Scots will be in action on Friday and Saturday as they take on West Virginia State, Concord, and Ursuline. And we save the best for last, a PSAC championship. Vitor Albanese of Edinburgh's men's tennis team claimed the 2015 PSAC Men's Singles Championship on Sunday at Bloomsburg. It was his first appearance in the tournament. That's all we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at ETV Sports to stay up to date on all the latest Borough athletic happenings.